The malaria parasites invade circulating red blood cells and replicate within them. In the case of Plasmodium falciparum, the causative agents are the most dangerous form of malaria. Replication takes place over a period of about 48 hours, producing a number of invasive merozoites. Eventually, in a process called egress, the infected red blood cell, called a schizont, ruptures, releasing merozoites to invade a new red cell. Egress is a rapid and highly regulated process, but little is known about how it's triggered and controlled. We've known for some time that just prior to egress, a parasite-derived serine protease called sub-1, or PF sub-1, is released from merozoites into the lumen of the parasitophorus vacuole, a membrane-bound compartment in which the parasite resides. Discharge of sub-1 enables it to proteolytically modify a number of parasitophorus vacuole proteins, members of the sera family, which themselves resemble proteases, and also a number of proteins of the merozoite surface, including the essential major merozoite surface protein, MSP1, which probably plays a role in invasion of red cells. Some time ago, the group of David Baker at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine showed that inhibitors of a parasite cyclic GMP-dependent protein kinase called PKG very efficiently block egress. In the light of that observation, the objective of this study was to understand how inhibitors of PKG inhibit egress and how that inhibition relates to what we know about the role of sub-1 in egress. In the first part of this work, we found that inhibitors of PKG called compound 1 and compound 2 both inhibit all known proteolytic processing events in the parasite that are mediated by PF sub 1. An example of that is shown here, in which processing of sera 5 is inhibited by both compound 1 and compound 2. Importantly, neither compound inhibits sera 5 processing in a parasite line in which a gatekeeper residue in PKG has been substituted in order to render the kinase resistant to compounds 1 and compounds 2. The inhibitors of PKG do not interfere with the trafficking of sub-1 to exonemes, the subcellular organelles in which the parasite is stored prior to its release into the parasitophorus vacuole. Nor do they interfere with expression of sub-1 in parasites, as shown by these immunofluorescence images of schizonts that have been treated with compound 1 or compound 2 for several hours. We eventually found that the way in which the inhibitors of PKG prevent sub-1 activity against its endogenous substrates is to block the release of sub-1 from exonemes, as well as the release of another class of secretory organelles called micronemes. If inhibitors of PKG inhibit discharge of sub-1 into the parasitophorus vacuole, this may be the means by which they prevent egress. PKG is activated by the cyclic nucleotide cyclic GMP, and cyclic GMP levels themselves are regulated by the interplay between guanonyl cyclases, which synthesize like cyclic GMP, and phosphodiesterases, which degrade cyclic GMP. We reasoned that if inhibitors of PKG block egress, Inhibitors of phosphodiesterases would result in an increase in steady-state cyclic GMP levels, which would activate PKG and might thereby induce egress. We found this to be the case. Zaprinast, an inhibitor of many phosphodiesterases, including at least one malarial phosphodiesterase, potently induces egress, as shown by these images, which show a culture which has been treated with Zaprinast. We went on to confirm that Zaprinast induces egress in a cyclic GMP-dependent manner, as its effects on wild-type parasites are prevented by compound 1 and compound 2, whereas Zaprinast-induced egress of the T618Q gatekeeper parasite mutant are not affected by the PKG inhibitors. Zaprinast also induces rapid release of sub-1 and AMP from micronemes. In summary, we have learnt more about the mechanisms that regulate egress of malaria parasites. It may be possible to exploit these new findings to design drugs that interfere with egress and thereby prevent progression of the disease caused by this important pathogen.